Let's talk about the brain and how powerful your brain really is. Your brain is split into two halves, which is connected to the corpus callosum, which acts like a bundle of telephone wires between the lobes, sending messages back and forth. Now the cerebral cortex is the largest part of our brain, where most of our complex thinking, short-term memory, and sensory stimulation take place. The cerebral cortex also moderates the basic functions we need to live, such as breathing, maintaining a regular heart rate, our impulses to eat, and our freeze, fight, and flight responses. Now for the cerebellum, which is located at the back of the brain. It is responsible for moderating movement and coordination. It also has a huge role in decision making. Now here is the most incredible part. Our brains have the capacity for what is known as neuroplasticity, which means that they can be changed and shaped by our actions and by our environment. For example, the nature versus nurture environments we go through as children and adolescents are most beneficial to our neuroplasticity. For those now successful adults, you can say that those many years of struggle as a child built resilience for their brains to now achieve great potential. To give you a proper meaning behind neuroplasticity, or also referred to as brain plasticity, every time you learn something new, your brain is changing by making new synaptic connections. To really break it down, your brain is basically like a computer. And when you learn new information, you are upgrading your computer's hardware. The brain has this extraordinary ability to alter its structure and organization over time with creating more neural pathways whenever we experience learning brand new information. It's the mind adapting. Since learning is creating new connections, then remembering or practicing the information is the process of maintaining and sustaining those connections. The next time you realize you failed to remember something, simply view it as your physical brain didn't make the connection between what you've just learnt and what you already know. When we struggle to remember something, then we are most likely experiencing a disconnection between neurons. Having a memory lapse is totally normal. We aren't robots. Responding to this lapse of memory with a negative attitude by thinking, I have a bad memory, or I'm not smart enough to remember this, then you are only ruining your ability to grow and keep learning. Basically, that negative self-talk when a simple memory lapse occurs reinforces a limiting belief in ourselves rather than acknowledging the mistake and making the effort to acquire the information again. The incredible thing about our brains having plasticity is that it means your learning and indeed your life is not fixed. There are absolutely no limitations to what you can learn and remember. All it takes is the right mindset, motivation, and methods of learning. Having a positive environment, eating the right foods, and consistent exercise, just to name a few. Thanks for going beyond a thought in our brain plasticity or neuron plasticity, and how incredible our brains are. Comment below with something positive that you learnt and achieved that you didn't think was possible. If you write this in the comments, then you're basically affirming that you can learn anything. Subscribe to the channel and hit the bell notification to stay updated for my next videos, which I'm gonna be doing a series on the brain, the mind, and having a positive mindset.